There are different ways on how to factor a polynomial, but we will use distributive property to factor each polynomial given in two easy ways. Let's have example number one. Example number one is factor 15x plus 25x squared. Step number one, simply find the GCF or the greatest common factor. Please remember that the GCF of a variable is a variable with the lowest or lower exponent. So let's have 15 and 25. So what is the greatest common factor between 15 and 25? Of course, that is 5 because 5 is the greatest number divisible both by 15 and 25. How about between x and x squared? According to the rule, this is a variable with the lower or lowest exponent and that is x. So therefore, the GCF of 15x plus 25x squared is 5x. So what is step number two? Step number two is very simple. Just divide the polynomial by the GCF. So the polynomial or the problem is 15x plus 25x squared. So let us divide our GCF is 5x. So this will be 5x to both terms. So this is 5x. And let us divide. 15 divided by 5 is simply 3. x divided by x. Don't forget, in division, the rule is subtract the exponent. So 1 minus 1 is 0. x to the 0 is equal to 1. Or just simply cross this out. Next, positive 25 divided by 5 is equal to 5 x squared divide by x subtract the exponent so 2 minus 1 is equal to 2 so therefore the answer is x so what do you call 3 plus 5 x so this will be the remaining factor or the other factor so we're done we will now write the final answer so how will you write your final answer? It is very simple. So we will write it, or it is the product of the GCF. Our GCF is 5x, and its remaining factor, and the other factor is 3 plus 5x. And we are done. So the factors of... 15x plus 25x squared are 5x times 3 plus 5x. Now, how would you know if your answer is correct? So we call this the distributive property factoring a polynomial because we will use distribution in checking for us to know if the final answer is correct. So let us check. So to check, let us multiply 5x times 3 plus 5x using distributive property. So we have 5x times 3 is equal to 15x. And 5x times 5x is equal to 25x squared. Therefore, our answer, the factor 5x times 3 plus x is correct. Example number 2. Use the distributive property to factor 12xy plus 24xy squared minus 30x squared y to the fourth. What is step number 1? Step number 1 is simply find the GCF. So let us find the GCF of 12, 24, and 30. 
I want you to pause for a while and think of the greatest common factor of 12, 24, and 30. Yes, you are right. The GCF of these numbers is 6. How about between x and x squared? So again, you know that the GCF of a variable is a variable with the lower exponent and that is x how about okay in y y square and y to the fourth where did i get all this um variable so first we found the gcf of the coefficient next gcf of variable x and lastly GCF of y, y squared, and y to the fourth. So according to the rule, the GCF is a variable with it the lower exponent just like that. So this will be y. So what is the GCF? The GCF of that polynomial is 6, x, and y. Very simple. How about step number two? Step number two is simply divide the given polynomial by the GCF. So let us do step number two. So we have um, 12xy plus 24xy squared minus 30x squared y to the fourth so let us divide the gcf again is 6xy so divide 6xy 6xy and 6xy so let us divide what is 12 divided by 6 that is 2 x divided by x is simply 1 or just cancel it out y divided by y is 1 or just simply cancel next positive 24 divided by 6 is equal to 4 x divided by x cancel y squared divided by y sub subtract the exponent so 2 minus 1 is simply 1 so that will be y 1 or simply y next negative 30 divided by 6 is equal to negative 5 x squared divided by x subtract the exponent 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 so that will be x to the first power or just simply x and then y to the fourth divide by y subtract the exponent so that will be 4 minus y is equal to 3 so 2 plus 4y minus 5x y cube is the other factor aside from the GCF so how will you write your final answer to write the final answer or the factor of 12xy plus 24xy squared minus 30x squared y to the fourth is the product of the GCF so the GCF is 6xy and the remaining factor which is 2 plus 4y minus 5xy cube so these are the factors so again to make sure if your answer is correct let us check so you need to check but um this is just optional but i would just like to make sure if the final answer or the factors of the problem is correct so let us distribute what is 6xy times 2 that is 12xy 6xy times 4 6 times 4 is equal to 24 xy times y is xy squared and lastly 
6xy times negative 5xy cube. 6 times negative 5 is negative 30. x times x is x squared. y times y cube is y to the fourth. As you can see, this is the same as the original problem. Therefore, the factors 6xy times 2 plus 4y minus 5xy cubed is correct. Let us take example number 3. Factor 3a b squared plus 15a squared b squared plus 27a b cubed in two easy steps. The first step, of course, is to simply find the GCF. So let's have 3, 15, and 27. 3, 15, and 27. What is the GCF? Yes, you are right. 3 is the greatest common factor. For A, a squared and A, so that is A and A squared. What is the GCF? That is A, a variable with the lower exponent. B squared, B squared, and B cubed. So we have B squared and B cubed. That is right, that is B squared. So what is the GCF? The GCF is... 3 a b squared step number two simply divide so let us divide 3 a b squared plus 15 a squared b squared plus 27 a b cubed by the gcf 3 a b squared divide it to the second term as well as to the third term so let us divide so if we divide 3 a b squared divide by itself simply cross out or 1 positive 15 divide by 3 is 5 a squared divided by a, subtract the exponent, that is a. b squared divided by b squared is simply cancelled. 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9. a divided by a, cancelled out. b cubed divided by b squared, subtract the exponent, that is b. So, 1 plus 5a plus 9b is the other factor so what is your final answer your final answer must be written as the product of the gcf and the gcf is 3 a b squared times the other factor 1 plus 5 a plus 9 b so this is your answer if you want to check if the answer or the factors of 3a a b squared plus 15 a squared b squared plus 27 a b cubed is correct just check it yourself so for our last example following the two easy steps find the gcf and divide so we have 4 12 and 32 so the gcf is 4 x squared x and x to the fifth that is x y squared y squared y to the sixth is y squared step number two divide 4x y squared by the polynomial so we have 4x squared y squared minus 12x y squared plus 32x to the fifth y to the sixth Divide by 4xy squared. Divide by 4xy squared. 4 divided by 4 is 1. x squared divided by x is x. k 
cancelled out. Negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. Cancelled. Cancelled. 32 divided by 4 is equal to positive 8. X to the 5th divided by X is X to the 4th. Y to the 6th divided by Y squared is Y to the 4th. So this will be your other factor. So therefore... This is your other factor and your answer or factors of 4x squared, y squared minus 12x, y squared plus 32x to the 5th, y to the 6th are your GCF, 4x, y squared times the other factor, x minus 3 plus 8x to the 4th, y to the 4th. You can check to see if that is correct. Hey, if let's say, can we arrange this in order? Yes, it is, but this one is fine. So if you have any question, please let me know. You can write it in the comment box or you can email me. Just ask if you have any clarification. I am ready to help you and I'll get back to you.